Hi, my name is Dr. Jim Ave, and I am teaching AES 6050 Research Design and Methods in Exercise Science. And in this presentation, I want to give you some ways to be successful in this class, and not only just this class, but any class that you take as a graduate student, specifically for an online course. So some keys for you to be successful in this class and again, pretty much any other online course that you're going to take. First, you enrolled in this class, you enrolled in this program, so let's make the assumption that you actually wanna learn the material. Uh, that is probably the number one thing that you have to have is the desire to want to learn and do the things that it takes to be successful in a class is just don't take the class just to pass the class take the class to want to learn the material um, this class is focused on understanding research how it's designed the methodology behind research um, you're going to be using this material throughout the graduate program to be able to analyze um, the evidence as I like to call it I like to call what we do in academics and what you'll do in a graduate program uh, <clears throat> evidence-based academics I use that from my athletic training background that the evidence that we use in academics is journal articles and the research that has been used in journal articles to make decisions on how we're gonna provide care for well, for me in athletics, but or in athletic training, but if you're in, if you have clients as a strength and conditioning coach, or whatever field that you are involved in in the exercise science area. If you're not sure what to do, ask questions. Uh, you can ask questions either either through the question and answer form that I have in the course cafe. You can send me an email, you can text to me, and if we're going to talk on the phone, it would be best if we set up a time for us to talk, because that's the best way for me to be able to dedicate time to you. Again, if you're not sure what is expected, please ask questions. And that's not only true of this class, this, this is true for every class. I asked students uh, who have completed this course and are at the end of this of this graduate program, what they wish they knew at the beginning of the program. And that was one of the things that was repeatedly said by students that are completing this graduate program. Uh, I wish I would have asked more questions of the professors so I can get clarity on what I what is expected for the assignments. Time management is a critical factor in being successful. You need to dedicate time in your schedule, your daily schedule, to do coursework. I don't know how many courses you're taking um, during this eight weeks, but regardless if you're taking one or two, three, four, I don't know how many courses you're taking, but regardless, you need to put time in your schedule, just like if you're going to campus for a three or four hour period, and sitting in a classroom, you need to do the same thing here in this class. You need to look at your schedule and each day carve out one to two to three hours per day doing coursework. That can be listening to lectures, that can be going on the library and searching for articles, reading those articles, writing papers, posting in the forums, uh, whatever it is, you have to do stuff every single day. Students who wait till the last minute to do stuff, it is obviously clear to professors who those students are because the work is not very good. The other thing that you need to do with time management is um, take the time to uh, get help from other students too. That might be another way to be successful. Other way to be successful is read the feedback that you get from your professors and apply the feedback from the, 
the professors. Uh, that's critically important to uh, help you grow as a student. Um, I know the way I teach is that if there are assignments that are building on one another, in this class you'll have assignments that are going to build towards your final assignment in this class, and I will give you feedback, and I expect you to make the changes that I have given you. I expect you to know and apply APA formatting. Uh, that is what is expected of you as a graduate student is to correctly use APA and follow APA and to support pretty much everything you write with references. Unless it, it, it the only exception to that is if it's a personal application of material. And sometimes even that needs to be supported with research. Uh, one of the things I forgot to say about time management, you need to plan ahead. Look at the course schedule. Um, most discussion boards or discussion forums are due Thursdays. Um, and you have to reply by Sundays. Most of the assignments in this class are due on Sundays, but you should always prepare. Um, maybe get a the old-fashioned, put it in your phone. When your assignments do, that means you have to work ahead of schedule and get things done on time. Late assignments are going to reduce your grades. There's no doubt, no doubt about that. Look in the in Blackboard and look at the program uh, expectations, and you'll see that if assignments are turning late, you're going to get a grade reduction. <clears throat> So how to learn material. Some of this hopefully you know about yourself already, but I just like to give this to students, especially in this class, because the research methods is a different topic. You may have never taken a topic like research methods before. Uh, some of the other classes that you're going to take in this program you probably took as an undergrad, but you may have never taken a class like this. So I'm going to break this down into these different areas. Audio learners, Analytical learners, visual learners, social learners, and kinesthetic learners. Audio learners are learners who like to learn by hearing. So presentations like this or other presentations are very helpful for audio learners. So maybe you need to find, if you can find an audio version of the textbook and listen to it versus reading it. Um, but you also... When you're reading the textbook, I know that in this particular class, um, there are summaries for the chapter. So you probably should listen to those, then read the book and go back and listen to them again. Be an active listener and take notes during the presentations. Maybe there's other YouTube videos that you can find about these chapters That'll help you learn by listening to the material versus uh, reading the material. For analytical learners, that's somebody who likes to think deeply about some things. They will learn by writing the material out. Read the assigned chapters. But also be an active um, reader. Take notes. Uh, Ask questions. What does this mean? Does this make any sense? Ask the professor about whatever those questions are to make sure that you understand the material. Go find other resources that will help you understand the material. Uh, again, that's the analytical learner. You learn best by writing, by taking notes, um, <clears throat> by asking more questions. Another person could be the visual learner. You have to see things to understand it. Um, again, read the material from the textbook by being active again. Maybe you need to find uh, other, this is sort of along with the audio learners, so maybe I should have combined audio and visual together. Maybe you need to search the internet for visual 
ways that this material can be described in the textbook. Um, there are quite a bit of different visual aids to help you learn the material. Um, so it's similar to audio learners. You may just need to be, f be able to find a different way to see what you're learning. Social learners are those people who like to do things in group. Maybe you need to find another student in the class that you can work together. You do your own work, but you can talk through the material. Uh, might be helpful for you to do it that way. Just make sure you stay focused on the content in the course and not to get um, sidetracked by other things. Maybe you need to start a Facebook or a social media page, text somebody about the material that understands the material that can assist you in learning the material. Again, I think that's uh, for social learners, that's very important that you find somebody else who's also a social learner that you stay focused on learning the material. Again, but you got to do your own work. Kinesthetic learners are the touch, got to learn by doing. In an online course, this can be a bit of a challenge. Um, that's why kinesthetic learners struggle in the online environment. You just need to be aware of that by uh, for yourself. Because there's not much we can do about that uh, in the online environment. There's not labs, especially in the research methods type course, where you're learning theory about how... Um, research is conducted. Um, it is really theory based. So just be aware of that about yourself. You may have to use one of your other types of learning or styles of learning to overcome that. Experimental touching and feeling aspects of this course and this material. Again, focus on the way that you learn and so you can be a you can be uh, so you can learn the material again that's the focus you want to learn this material um, and make it applicable we try to make this material applicable to your particular area in exercise science as always ask questions if you're unsure of what you are expected to do